Hey everybody, Terry Runyon here, visual artist and creative encourager. And uh, today I wanted to talk to you about an oh so familiar thing that we as creatives seem to deal with, and that is self-doubt. I have tons of first-hand experience with self-doubt. As a matter of fact, I still have self-doubt come up in my life. The difference is I'm just seeing the whole thing from a new perspective, from a new point of view. And in this video, I want to talk about how things have shifted in how I see who I am as a creative and consequently self-doubt no longer stops me from creating and sharing with all of you and in life. So the way my self-doubt has always shown up is a just a real low sense of self-worth. Like I'm not an artist even. I, I grew up thinking that somehow I had to prove myself that I'm starting from something defective or something and that whatever I do in life, I'm kind of pulling myself up by the bootstraps. Even then, the old imposter syndrome would kick in and when I did something that was seen as something good or seen as something valuable, I would think that it was just a fluke or I would think that it really wasn't me somehow, that it happened but uh, despite me. That's kind of where I was coming from. So. I don't know how many of you can relate to this, this self-doubt that comes up for us in our creative process. I know that any artist I've ever talked to, whatever type of art they do, they deal with this voice, this thing that's always doubting whatever they're doing. What I'm coming to understand is that creativity itself is a space of the unknown, which is inherent in the idea of creativity itself, that this can and often does bring up some fear in us or our self-doubt, this wanting to hold back and stay safe. This what seems to be our comfort zone is one way people talk about it. And I thought that this was something that I had to get over, that somehow I cannot create as long as I'm feeling uncomfortable or I, I'm afraid or there's any doubts coming up in my mind, that that would stop me dead in my tracks because I thought somehow that a real artist or someone who's really creative doesn't deal with these things. And that's simply not true. There is not a person on the face of this planet that doesn't deal with these thoughts and fears and doubts that come up. The difference is that as we start to realize that this is a natural part of the creative process to have these doubts come up, and who we are and our creativity itself is much bigger than this doubt that comes up, than these thoughts that come up trying to convince us that somehow we're not good enough at something or someone will criticize us or I'm not getting enough likes on Instagram or if people don't comment, what does that mean? So understanding who we are as creative beings, that we are creativity itself and that what we're creating is a joyful expression of this creativity, this who we are. And the thoughts that come up around that, the things that stop us, these are not significant. They feel significant in the moment they happen. They're very familiar to us because we've been rehearsing them all our lives. We think that they mean something to us and are pointing at something true. And as we realize that we are the creativity itself, that which comes forward and moves into this mystery and is doing a video or creating a piece of artwork or writing a book or whatever it is we're doing in the moment, that whatever comes up around that that's causing us some sense of fear or doubt or worry is the residue of some idea that somehow we're not enough, that we're not creative, that we're not this creativity, that somehow we are something less than and we have to do something to prove ourselves or hide away or not share or have to get approval. I'm coming from this perspective now that I am creativity itself and so is each and every one of us. And everything we do is creative. The doubt and stuff is even creative, but we don't have to stay with that stuff that comes through our mind because the actual act of creating and whatever it is that's coming through us is not who we are either. It's an expression coming from who we are. There's no identity of myself with my artwork or myself who I truly am with this video. 
I'm here just talking on video because it's I'm inspired to do it and it feels very creative to me and unknown and mysterious and it's unfolding on its own. It's purely an expression of creativity in the moment. So we can gently watch those thoughts and feelings go through as we move forward in our moment by moment experience of creating and realize that yeah, that's, that's what we humans do. We've learned how to think a lot about how crappy we are or that we're not good enough. And this has no significance whatsoever to who you truly are. So I hope this has been helpful. And I really would like to encourage you to play around with the, we'll call it an idea right now, but just wonder about the possibility that who you are is creativity. So I hope this video has helped you see something in a little bigger way. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd love to hear any thoughts, questions, comments in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Have a great day.